But this is a, very, it's a wholly different environment today. And uh, if, if he is going to commit himself to using weapons of mass destruction to kill people, we may have to, in fact, protect those people. They may even mean military protection, ultimately. You cannot sit idly by and just jawjack about watching people shot down with, with these weapons. Interesting. Um, and, and, I, and I do know that uh, given what's happening in Egypt and the Suez Canal, the passage through which the oil comes, and given our dependence on oil and given the whole Libyan fact, uh, it's, it's not an abstract fight because when oil goes up, it affects the price of bread and milk and meat and food. And people on fixed income will not just fill it up, the gas pump. Clothes are made, basically, of oil and energy. It's a but big am deal. I hearing Reverend Jesse Jackson in, in, endorsing U.S. military action in that part of the world? Uh, if we cannot convince Gaddafi to stop engaging in, in a massacre, we must move. For too long in World War II, uh, we stood by and watched genocide escalate and, and had uh, you know, a quest of peace without strength with the madman, Hitler. Uh, what what the Gaddafi is doing uh, right now is saying that I will take the last one with I will I'll go down as a modern blood. You cannot, and given our trade relations with Libya, given how we've helped prop Libya up, given the fact that we're Libya's business partner, so we have some responsibility mm. for his power to kill people. So we cannot send an island by and do nothing. So we hope diplomacy works, but if not, we have to, we have to move in to protect the people of Libya.